can take my hand here, press along pecs, not our goal, because our goal is low backs, but you know, I'm here, why not? So once we've done that, we can take our hand, lift up our knee, and then roll our receiver's glute onto our knee here. See that? Right across. How does that feel? Good. Awesome. So what I can feel with my knee, my knee is right at the edge of that sacral border. I'm just going to move her leg around. Once I've got it in a good position, I'm going to grab her leg. I love your leg. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hug it and I'm going to move. And what's that what that is doing is here's her glute, here's my knee. I'm pivoting her glute all around my knee. Super easy. Just like that. How does that feel? Sure. Kristen also has amazing flexibility. Mm -hmm. So to add to it, I'm going to take my other foot and cross press. So I'm pulling, pulling with this arm, pressing with this foot. Just like that. How does that feel? Good. And again, this kind of stuff would do a lot more, hold it a lot longer. But we're just showing you a little bit of stuff in a short amount of time. Okay, and down. So now we're going to switch to the other side. Again, we're going to come in, foot underneath knee. We're going to just do that gentle rocking again. So what this rocking also does is it helps to get the brain to kind of relax around what we've got going on. Sometimes we're so tense, but during this rocking motion, it can help things relax without really having to force it. And what that also does is that gets some really great gentle movement along all of those erector muscles, everything in your lumbar, everything that attaches to your spine, all that stuff is now getting some nice gentle movement while we're doing that rocking. And hold just like that. Get a little bit more movement on this side. So we can go a little bit deeper. How does that feel? Awesome. And then back to the rocking. Again, getting that movement along the spine, along all of those rotatories and multifidi, lots of names for lots of muscles that are in our back. Then I come in. And then do this, pop up just like that. Now again, Kristen, she's got lots of extra room. Is that okay on? Good, right there. She's at her edge, which is great. I'm gonna hang out here. Let her feel that. Let her work around that, and it's all good. Just to add a little bit for her, I'm going to add a little bit of an arm traction because, again, she's so bendy, jealously bendy. Jealously. I don't know how to say that word. Enviously. Just pressing in and then relax. So, I'm going to come and do these beautiful broad quad compressions and IT compressions. And the reason why we focus a little bit on quads is because, as you can see, quads are large. They're like half our leg. And what they'll do is they'll pull on our hip and pull them forward, which then stress, stresses out and stretches out all of those wonderful lumbar muscles. So they start getting all upset. Like, guys, calm down. So we got to tell quads to calm down too. Again, 
I can feel where Kristen's got some tension. I can pull back on now my right foot, pressing in more with my left, back and forth. Kind of like a wave motion. Listen to your partner's breathing. On inhale, relax. On exhale, we're gonna push. Yeah. 